Shad Hound gonna be first up again. This one was a Beastmaster Hunter. Over on the team two, we got ourselves Stoneblood. I still gotta go back and get this mount. It looks so glorious. We got us a Chicago Psychotic on the team as well as Ghost. My boy. We got a four-man team over for team one, so hopefully we'll get um we're still loading in. I think it's the paladin still loading in. Trinket immediately out of shot. Hunt as a bleed comes off of Pharaoh. The mentor already makes sure he got himself a good angle. Blade Storm right after. It is going to be an extra pet joining him for shot. Hunt Pharaoh is actually going to take a bit of damage. Parry to follow as long as he doesn't let the pets get behind him. He might be okay. Shadowhunt is not really taking a lot of damage with that. Biting shot onto Pharaoh. Does go for the trick and try to see if he can stay on the hunter as best as possible. That is going to be a turtle shell out of Shadowhunt with the tar trap over onto Pharaoh. The guy does end up kind of picking up a little bit of healing off of this. And Shad is falling behind now little by little. I think he just used everything, right? How to escape this freezing trap? It is going to be a freezing trap. As long as he gets himself a bit of distance, send the pets in, ramp them up, and get a bit of damage going, I think you're going to be just fine. But Ferris, so far, his health bar isn't really moving all that much. Does get himself a charge. Just needs a little bit more damage. Chat hot in that execute rage. As long as he got that distance, you'll be okay. The man is waiting until I think maybe a, uh, a leap. Stunned from a distance. Death shot could follow. Potentially big damage. That was a pretty good time to really get a big go. Buying shot in the middle. If Ferris is careful, does end up going in for a body, but I think it's just the next good place to be just over. It's just over. Just a good old sweep at the very, very end. I feel like Shad Hunt played super well defensively, but I was just kind of waiting like Death Shark him. Where's the Death Shark him? And by the time he said Death Shark him, he's like, I'm gonna keep distance. I don't want to touch this guy whatsoever. Mortical reflected back to Psychotic though with Ferris trying to see if he can be proactive. Big bleed onto the Warlock is going to stun and lock him down with portals opening up from the Twisting Nether. Psychotic backing up out of there, but the Warrior is able to intercept right afterwards. Got himself a glimpse of the Purple class. is able to stay on him. Blaze him right after. As long as he can avoid the Succubus, you see he'll be okay. Succubus does catch him. Infernal to stun him. Fear right after. Trying to see if he can path him away from the uh, from the uh, Infernal for just a second into a Chaos Bolt. One, Ferris with a parry. Does have himself a Decent defensive stun lock on Psychotic as the Doe end up walling this off. Blaze him right after. As long as Psychotic can bail out of there with a portal, that or a gateway, he's going to be A-OK. -okay. And Pharaoh, not in a great spot right now. Try to see if he can pick up a little bit of healing from one of the pets. If he can maybe slay the succubus. Whoa, another reflect on the Mortical may give him a standing chance right here. Since so Psychotic cannot really establish solid CC on the guy. Succubus does walk him away with a portal open. It's going to be incinerates flying out. Does not have a way to stop the kids, but as long as he can maybe get a charge into up last second. Got himself potentially damaged, but really trying to see if he can find some cover. Oh, fast chaos mode of my life. Just kind of snuck out of nowhere. With RSK going to be up next over for the team one. Trying to see if he can roll over. Hand of Freedom. Or not Hand of Freedom. Ring of Peace. In order to try to see if he can maybe boob the uh, succubus out in the open. But it's going to be psychotic. Seeing a trick out of the monk. Mad damage out of the monk. Big kicks. Fist of Fury. Done. Just goes down with Stoneblood up next. I honestly think RSK should try to see if he can take the momentum we got right now. And try to see if he can maximize his stone. Big kick. And this is going to be a blind of the paladin. Just trying to see if he can wait out Sovereignty. Wait out Zoan as best as he can. Maybe then he's going to get himself a ramp up with a crusade. No trick for the monk right now. So it's a perfect opportunity for Stoneblood to maybe make some damage happen. Locking him down with another stun. RSK with a karma. This way you could potentially bubble it. Bop it. Remove it or just keep trucking on the damage. Got him some shield of vengeance. So it's going to be full karma to reverse the damage back to stone. But the dampening is low enough where he can maybe get himself a bit of that recovery. Right now, RSK is on a defensive until he got himself another leg sweep. Until he's got himself maybe like Thunderfist or something, anything. Maybe Serenity on top of it. But if he can get himself any kind of a little combo... I think he's actually going to have quite a decent bit of advantage versus Stone. Lex Soup, does he have a setup? Fist of Fury just kind of going a little bit slow. Hammy hanging over the man's head. As long as he's careful with the damage of Stone Blood and has himself an escape line, you might be okay. Actually taking up this damage a little bit, trying to see if he can put some pressure into Stone. Is able to get a decent bit of damage out. Going to be a hammer tossing it on to the guy. Got him some defenses down for a little bit. Just not much you can really do when you just take a constant pressure. The cloak procket right there. Shield of for stone. Got him some big hammer hanging over the man's head. Big damage on RSK. Nothing he can really do at that point. I feel like he decided, you know what? I'm just going to stay in as much as possible. Stone blood with the bubble immediately. His pocket going in with an AMS. Just trying to see if he can put pressure onto the pally. But now that he's got a big immunity out of him. This could be his opportunity to potentially press the advantage. Got himself a ghoul joining in. Hand of freedom for the pally. Tried to keep himself at bay here. But a stun locking him down. Grippy hand to keep him next to him. Trinket in order to just keep the pressure rolling. Stone trying to see if he can get out of there. Does not have an immunity for a good while. While for Baron still holds. It actually might be in a bad spot. Wait a second. Pally locking him out with solids. I think it might be over. Let's Oh my. Goodness! 
Red pockets me. <laughs> Does end up taking the guy down fairly quickly. Just needed to get the bubble, press the offensive, got himself the big birds, and just came in with a, with a what is it, strangulate? Not the stun version, but the silence version. And just able to lock him down fairly well. Right now it's up to Ghost. Trying to see if he can maybe potentially go through a pally, or through a through a death knight, which is not the worst matchup at all. But then you got the outlaw rogue in the back. You got yourself the red pally. That might be a little bit more difficult. Opening up, big damage, massive secret technique, burning through the cloak really quick. The MS, nothing he could do. It's just a full secret into a big eviscerate, going in for a quick bow towards stone. <laughs> Trying to see if he can avenge the homie with demonic charging and grappling in, but not going in for a blade filler or anything. That's going to be sapped by a demoniac, able to go for a quick step. As long as Ghost is able to get him some decent damage with his demonic, he might be all right. Disarm as the uh, outlaw rogue trying to build up a little bit of damage. Ghost with a shadow step, trying to see if he can get a shiv onto demonic. He does turn around with a kind of shot, locking him down. Got him so dance available. Ambushes. That's going to be cloak of shadows, trying to see if he can immune the damage. Or at least trying to see if he can deny some of the damage. Sheep shot by Ghost will not have a secret technique for a while. Dasa vanishes as well as a full rupture roll onto demoniac. The guy is, unable, is not going to take too much damage from the bleed, but he's going to be denied stealth for a good while. So it could pick up the eyes, try to see if he can get aggressive, sap into Demoniac. As the eyes get picked up either way though, and Ghost I think is just trying to see if he can buy himself some time. Grapple hook just to make sure he closes the gap with a blind. Ghost has a trinket, so next stun could be pretty good for him. Does go for the pistol to build complex, but a gouge by the rogue into a cheap shot. Going to be a blind onto the outlaw rogue as he goes in for a trinket. So now Ghost is able to piece by piece systematically remove all the little defensives of demoniac little by little next stun could be really deadly for either one of them calm points built up for the outlaw into a trinket disarm onto uh, demoniac he does throw in a disarm but after demoniac right now this is a good go for him but the stuns are gonna be back up drs are off ghost trying to see if he can make a play big secret technique vanishes last second this is the way you want to make sure your stuns are airtight this is the second time he's been able to vanish your big secret technique go your whole cold blood everything available could have been a big setup and does end up going down <laughs> That's so unfortunate. This is why this is why I think it kind of sucks that subtlety is so reliant on secret technique. You know, it's a massive hit. Cold blood, but it's kind of like expected. You know it's gonna happen, but if you don't like plan it and time it at the right time, like cheap shot, immediately secret, it has a bit of a delay, super unknown to play into, and if the other rogue knows what they were doing. A quick mana just dis disassembles everything. Trying to see if he can get himself a go. Gouge and maybe doing a cheap shot. Second cheap shot or after. Cheat death. Not even cheat death. What is happening? The man just got robbed of his cheat death. Blizzard, can we please fix that? You know, I feel like rogues are in a great spot when it comes to PvP. Right? But if you're challenging into a button called cheat death and it just cheats you on that cheat death, I have a problem with it. I have an issue with it. This has happened so many times in duels. And it's so random. We thought for a while that maybe you gotta be stunned. Like maybe if you're stunned and you proxy death and it doesn't do anything. The guy wasn't stunned for that one, I don't think. I think it was just a big eviscerate and just went down. God man, that's rough. Into an evasion for ghosts. As is gonna have a pally thread on him. Has himself an advantage with his escape, but no trigger for a while. Dots going for the vanish, but somebody keeps him out of stealth. Having to go for a shadow strike immediately. Get a shot to fall and trick out of the pallet, and nothing ghost can achieve that. That's proc for him. Trying to see if he can stay in. Hold on a second. Oh, he was doing quite a bit of damage though. He was doing work, he was doing numbers, and the pally was able to, did have to pop a bubble for that one. Chicago gonna be up next, hopefully Chicago does not have the bad MS going on right now, so I guess we'll see. I just trying to give Varka a chance, potentially, going in for a salute, trying to see if we can make an honor duel happen. He's gonna have to take a while to really go for a lot of healing. Wake up, actually, just to get resources, I like it. Dude, Paladin's playing into that uh, instant cast flash of light, which is probably better for this emergency or like consistent healing. But like if you just want to stand there, heal up to full, just don't have the ability. Don't have that opportunity whatsoever. Chicago trying to see if he can get the deal going. 50% dampener. There isn't much healing he can really do. At this point, Barca is going to have to be a counteractive with his Shield of Vengeance, Lay on Hands, as well as a Blessing. Either Protection, but probably Blessing of uh, ble Spell Warding. Just to make sure that all this lightning and fire damage from Chicago is immune. Physical damage is not getting immune though. Varka trying to see if he can escape the totem. Chicago with a maybe a defensive hero. Varka super super low. Might be an immunity out of him right now. But even if he does, he goes for like a full immunity for magical physical. Doesn't even matter. He just died to a flame shock. He tried to dispel a flame shock and it just erupted from under him. Oh no. This is what happens when you press the dispel, bump, uh, dispel uh, judgment. Oh no, <laughs> that actually does quite a bit of damage, that volcanic thing under you. Oh no, that's actually so good. 
Perfect against the Paladin effect if you're running that uh, German Dispel thing. Wow. 